I'm, I'm heading to a, a paint display car park in, in the centre of Milton Keynes because there's quite a few of and I'm going to get a spot quite easy and I'm going to try and cover some tips that are going to help you to not get fined uh, to do it correctly because surprisingly lots of people in the first do a paint display car park I haven't got a clue how to use it so let's get going and I'm going to try and give you a few tips and advice that will help you not to get fined, um, not to damage your car. Um, simple things that you might know uh, but probably you've not really thought about as it could be a problem for you. So we're just going to go ahead at these traffic lights and then we'll do a left turn to the car park. Now what we've got here is private land so whenever you enter a pay and display car park you're basically agreeing to their terms and conditions and I'll try and um, do a little recording of where, where I actually pay for the stuff to see if there's actually any terms and conditions there so I can have a read of them but um, as soon as you enter it you're basically agreeing to what they say and what they want to see you do is park within the white lines and pay for the for the privilege of doing that so we're just going to go left here So we're going to enter this one here now and if I slow it down it says here um, pay and display car park, scratch cars and permits not valid. So straight away it's tell you something that um, people get confused about which is people will buy a scratch car for a certain area and they can use it anywhere, not necessary. So I'm just going to try and partner a, a machine so I've got long, so I've got far to walk. So I'm going to come around here and, and the the white lines are a little bit worn out so I'm going to drive through and get in the white lines because it's quite important get in the white lines and I'm in the bay nice and easy there so a couple of bits then is is find an empty space um, this car park this time of day is pretty quiet so it's going to be easy to find that space other car parks busy time of day you're going to struggle you might have to reverse into a space another tip would be if you've got electric wing mirrors that come in bring them in once you're finished because last thing you want to do is get the wing mirrors banged or broken and um, you'll see you'll see um, people park over the lines or right on the line that's their choice but there's a risk that two things are going to happen is the car next to them is going to open the door and whack the door on, on their car and dint the car or even scratch the, the side of the car as they walk past getting into the car and the other thing is like I mentioned as we're driving then is when you enter a pen display car park you're agreeing to park within the parking spaces so if you take up two spaces by going to the next one and pay for one ticket don't be surprised if you get a, a, a fine for it so we'll get out in a second and we'll have a go at paying for the for the machine um, some machines you can do with an app this I'm, I'm going to use it by putting money in and it's not too bad reasonably I think it's 50, 50p for an hour um, so it's not too expensive but if you're going to go shopping for say an hour or two or even longer and you're with your friends then what you want to be doing is, is either setting some kind of an alarm on your watch or phone so it reminds you to come back because if you forget to come back and you come back five minutes late don't be surprised if there's a ticket on your windscreen saying it's, it's, they've given you a ticket because, you, because you're actually not valid to park there anymore because they're quite keen they make money out of people not paying for tickets or paying or over, overstaying their their actual allocated time and another little tip for you and this is quite an important one is once you pay for your ticket they're only little square ones which you'll see in a few minutes and you put them on your dashboard because you're supposed to display this pay and display there's no point in paying and having it kind of hidden away it's got to be on display so the so the actual warden can see it um, once you've shut the door check that it's actually not blew over <laughs> or it's gone down the side into the footwell because that's quite a common mistake people do is is they'll put it on top and there'll be two or three people in the car they get out of the car and when they shut the door oh, a draft of wind blows it and it turns it over at that point the the warden's not going to be able to see the time they're going to book you for having an invalid paying display they're not going to let you off of it and and, and i don't know the fine but I'll, I'll if it says on that I'll, I'll tell you but i'm guessing you're talking 30 pound or maybe 60 pound for overstaying your welcome so they're quite keen so 
make sure you get a ticket, make sure you don't arrive late, and um, make sure it's displayed correctly. Let's go and um, get a ticket then. So we can just see there that you can actually pay by mobile by quoting that location number. But the terms and conditions down here, just zoom in a bit, so it's 50p an hour, that's what it's saying, and you get a £70 fine if you're kind of uh, not displaying it or you're out of, um, out of the allocated time. So this is the ticket here then, so quick look at it, so I pay for 50p for an hour and it says at the bottom there in red writing, please display on dashboard this side up, uh, fail to display may result in a parking notice. Basically what they're basically saying is that if you don't put it on display then you're going to get a fine. I remember I talked about putting it on display, have it so it's face up so they can see it. So I've displayed my ticket on the dashboard facing upwards. So a couple of final things then. If you come to use the machine and it's broken, have a look around see if any, any other machines that are actually in that car park and try and use the machines. If they're all broken, then don't assume you're gonna get a free car park because that doesn't happen. When I was um, by the coast a couple of years ago, the machines weren't working. So people were just, oh, walking off. I rang them the, the actual phone number, said the machine's not working. Right, we'll be there in 10 minutes, just stay there. And then straight away, they turned up and they fix the machine. Now these people who walked off, they're gonna get tickets, you know? <laughs> so it's up to them. So if the, if the machine's not working, ring up the people and say it's not working um, and give them your reg number, you know, to tell them, you know? And then you've kind of covered yourself then. Don't just assume that you're gonna get a free vend. And remember, when you walk off, check that, dis that ticket's displayed. If this has been helpful and you feel as though you can park in a paint display car park, remember they're all slightly different, but that, that, that's kind of the gist of what's going to happen. Good luck in the car parks and, and take care.